Hey y'all, so this is going to be my 3,000 subscriber celebration. I wanted to read some mean comments that I've gotten. Uh, this isn't all of them. I, at first I just kind of either erased them or I just left them there and forgot about it. But I started collecting them a little while ago, especially the ones that made me laugh. Uh, so I'm going to share these ones with you. I'm also uh, going to answer some of your questions later on in the video. So stick around. And for those of you, I think we're almost at we're getting we're more than halfway to 4,000 subscribers. So I'm really pleased with the growth of this channel. So thanks to all of you who have stuck around and subscribed and watched my work. I really appreciate it. It's been great. The community on YouTube has been really welcoming. So anyways, let's get to these mean comments before I blather on somewhere. All right, so uh, from Hoops, Muslims and atheists are going to hell. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not like I haven't heard that before. Thanks, Hoops. Um, we have from Ch Charles, Charles. Jesus is Satan, the devil, and he is not coming back. Christians worship Satan with a human sacrifice of Jesus to Satan. You've been deceived, deceived. Repent and accept a written, sorry, no, repent. <laughs> accept Jehovah and do good works. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could make that any more incoherent if I tried, <laughs> but there you go. Thanks, Charles. Uh, we have from Dank Midget, laugh out loud, you atheists are dumb. <laughs> well, with arguments like that, I can certainly see why you would think that we're dumb. Very convincing. Next one, John Keen, read your Bible, dot, 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 GC, many dots, <laughs> better kill yourself. <laughs> Wow, that that got that that went from zero to sixty very quickly. <laughs> went from read your Bible to you bet yeah you better go off yourself. All right, <laughs> uh, fuck you <laughs> from Queens Forever. <laughs> uh, thanks. Um, well, this is a longer one. Uh, Ahmed Mohammed, we own Canada and Europe and United States. In future, you. I guess this guy doesn't believe in punctuation. He, belie <laughs> he believes in the Quran, but not punctuation. You didn't saw the true Islam yet, so just wait to raise the banner of Islam because you are the stupidest people in the world, grandsons of monkeys and pigs, as Allah said in the Quran, and Trudeau is our server loyal, <laughs> and all of you, dot, dot. We own your country in few years, and then we show you the true Islam. That face, same of... What's that? The that face some of us still try to hide it believe that the opportunity has not yet come and maybe try to let me not have to talk because they work <laughs> in the background but now we work openly because you are stupid people and cowards like bitches <laughs> so we own your country easily for the victory of islam and crush the christian and jewish atheists to raise a banner of islam and we kick you out to clean our country from pigs like you and we take your women, the cheap meat bitches, as slaves, your mother, sisters, daughters, and your wives and your kids to serve us. Because we are kings, you are cowards, slaves. Ugh. Wow. There's the religion of peace right there. Uh, mean comments. Will you, will you go to heaven when you die? Here's a quick test. Have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Yeah, I have. Jesus said... Whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery within her, with her in his heart. So thought crimes. That's, that's comforting. Always comforting when somebody wants to convict you for thought crimes. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible place called hell. Well, very nice. Much, very loving God. <laughs> but God is not willing that any should perish but he's willing to burn you, I guess. Sinners broke God's law, and Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. So now we're in like a court of law. <laughs> uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes, in, whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, even if that everlasting life means everlasting torture. But, you know, forget about facts. <laughs> then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never fail you. Well, okay. Very convincing. <laughs> Atheists suck my big toe. 
<laughs> Love it. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Billy Block, here's a question for you. Where is atheism going to be in 50 years? Answer, dead. Atheists are garbage at making babies, and most of the immigrants that are entering Europe and North America are religious. The number of atheists continue to drop, and the number of religious people is increasing. You, you lot are becoming irrelevant. Yeah, well, atheism doesn't get passed on by genes. It's just not believing in your religion, so I don't know where you're going with that, but okay. Oh, here's the suck the big toe guy. Atheists are fools. <laughs> well, thanks for your wisdom, Ivan. Anyways, let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so just really quick, I'm not good at shilling stuff. So a while ago, I, I made a godless cranium shop, and I just wanted to show off some of the stuff. So if anybody's interested, they can go check it out. I almost have enough money to get Camtasia and the program that adds all the, the call signs and or call outs and stuff like that in in with it so I'm kind of waiting until I have enough for that so I'm, I'm getting pretty close and thanks to everybody well yeah the, the people that have already bought a t-shirt or I think I've, I've sold a couple of t-shirts and uh, a mug and a tote so um, here's some of this stuff so I got the, the regular uh, t-shirts and I went with just like mostly just the GC because I realize that some people live in really religious areas and they might have a hard time explaining godless cranium on their stuff. But if you if you do live in an area where you know you can wear godless cranium on your stuff, I do have a couple of t-shirts for that as well. Um, and they all the these ones come in uh, different colors. The ones with the the GC on it are they they look the best on black. They don't they the GC wasn't really meant for colored stuff. But uh, anyway, so there you go. Um, we have the Godless Cranium, the Tote, um, Religious Tears, and I'm getting YouTube messages. Religious Tears, um, Theist Tears, and we have uh, a, couple, a hoodie and a couple of sweaters. I also just like the saying, <laughs> if we came from dirt, what is there? Why is there still dirt? <laughs> uh, I forget who came up with that, but it was pretty fun. I thought it was funny anyways, but I have a weird sense of humor. And this is the last GC tote that um, actually somebody bought because they asked me for a tote with the GC symbol on it. So I made one. So there you go. So uh, if you want to help out this channel and help me get uh, Camtasia, by all means, come out, check out my shop. But if not, that's fine. That's cool. Um, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'll get it eventually. It'll just take a little bit more time. So Anyways, if you're interested, check it out. If not, that's cool. All right, let's go answer some questions. Commercial break. Almost forgot. I wanted to share some inspired fan art. Nixie drew this cool picture after being inspired by my avatar's mask. Quick story, I showed my girlfriend this picture and she thought it was her. It does resemble her a little bit, actually. And she asked why she looks so sad. All right. I'm going to take a swing at answering some of your questions. If I missed your question, I apologize in advance. We'll start off with Mediocrity's Maze, who asked, If it was ever shown to be highly likely that a creator god was, is the architect of the universe, known existence, do you think it would want to be worshipped or even be acknowledged by us? Well, if it was only highly likely, I would think such a being wouldn't want to be found. If it did want to be found, you'd think it would have the power and intelligence to make it happen. If such a powerful being wanted to be acknowledged or worshipped, it sure has a funny way of showing it. Question, if you were convinced of the existence of a god, to what would you rename your channel? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. I've always been crap at creating handles. When I used to write for a website, they asked me for an online name. I happened to be reading a John Grisham novel at the time, so I took the name Grisham. <laughs> Not terribly original. And I cursed myself for being lazy about it later, when people started to actually read my work. However, I'd likely be doing the same thing minus talking about god beliefs, so my channel name might have been based around conspiracy theories or something of that nature. Bionic Dance asked, Do you believe in the mighty power of Kofefi? <laughs> of course I do. Who doesn't? Andrew Lynch asked, Godless, have you ever thought of starting a podcast? I have no idea how to go about it, but I listen to a lot of them instead of music on my headphones while I work, chill, etc. I think if you could even spend half an hour rambling about your week, people would love it. Thanks, Andrew, <laughs> but my life is pretty boring. I have thought about starting a podcast, though, and I've watched a few videos on how to make it happen. 
I could see myself going in that direction if this channel ever got big enough to support a podcast. Maybe I might even do it before then. I've also thought about asking someone to co-host with me. Of course, it would have to be someone who I think is sensible and who I think would be compatible with my crazy ass. Maybe I think I'm real. Not sure he'd be interested, but I think podcasting is something I'll be doing in the future with or without a co-host. Creepy Animator. I have a question. What is your opinion of all the supposed modern miracles performed by the church? These miracles typically have more evidence to back them. Also, what is your opinion on religion in general? Do you despise it for the evil it has caused or agree with its necessity to guide people into doing the right thing? Also, I enjoy your videos. Well, thanks, creepy animator. I think the miracles are crap. (laughs) I don't believe in magic, and I have yet to see a claimed miracle that was legitimate. I remember a while ago there was a tree that Christians thought was weeping tears of God or something like that. Turns out it was bug shit. (laughs) I think miracles fall under that category and are a product of wishful thinking, superstition, or a talented con artist. As for religion, I think it's false. That's a good enough reason for me to argue against it. I don't think it's necessary, and I think we can outgrow religion, and that we could instead create philosophies based on reality. Danny asks, As a possible question for you, after becoming an atheist, have you ever wondered what life is like in the most atheist regions of our planet? Example, East Germany, post-reunification, Scandinavia, etc. Um, I most definitely have. I'd love to visit those places, and maybe I'll get the chance to at some point. My next question was shared privately, so it's not going to have a name. Hey GC, I'm a huge fan of your work and was one of your first 200 subscribers. I'm thrilled to see how fast your channel is growing, and I hope it grows 100 times more in the coming months. I want to ask you why it is you think so many people still believe in Bronze Age mythology that was written thousands of years ago. Mythology that has a horribly immoral things, such as calling for the brutal murder of women who have sex before marriage and homosexuals and B has such a faulty scientific claims. The first page says the moon is light and the earth and the universe were created at the same time and that the sun and the stars are different even though they are one and the same. I guess to put it more simply, why do so many people here in the western world cling to such obviously wrong texts that were written so long ago when we have so much access to modern scientific discoveries which are so obviously more reliable? First off, thank you for the kind words and I hope this channel continues to grow. Thank you very much for supporting my work for so long. You are awesome. I don't think this question can be answered easily or quickly. I think humanity is deeply superstitious. I think indoctrination plays a role. I also think the normalization of religion and the way a religion inoculates itself from criticism plays a huge role in its spread and longevity. I often hear atheists say that we need to respect bad ideas, even though they believe those ideas to be false and often harmful. Obviously, I don't hold those views. Like I said earlier, I think we can outgrow religion as a species, but it remains to be seen if we will. I'll likely delve more deeply into this topic in the future. That's about it for this video. Thanks again to everyone who has supported this channel. I never would have guessed a few months ago that this channel would have grown so much in such a short time. My favorite part of making videos is interacting with you all, and you make YouTube worth doing. Take care, and cheers.